List in the country under the auspices of climate clock movement on Monday joined other environmental activists in 25 countries in coordinated global action that is to mark the annual climate emergency day of a great significance as humanity now remain four years to prevent of global warming following a global call to act in time and push for systemic changes that is to avert catastrophic climate impacts. Speaking during the historic moment that was marked in Nairobi and saw the climate clock countdown drop from five years to four years. The environmentalist called on the Kenyan government, insurance companies and banks to take necessary measures in curbing environmental pollution, demanding divestment or investment for fossil fuels and investment in sustainable alternatives. Clock Kenya team, it's time to fund our future. What do we mean by funding our future? We mean by sustainable funding of our future, not by commercializing our future for climate benefits in the name of climate change. We demand the end of fossil fuels. Fossil fuel is catastrophic to our environment. As climate clock, as we mark the climate emergency day, today being another year where the clock has ticked down from five years to four, we ask ourselves, where is the implementation of the Paris Agreement that was signed off in 2015? Pollution is getting more worse. Our catchments are really dying. Our catchments are dying because of climate change. It's high time for us to stay silent. We will keep on pushing till we get the solution. Our future has to be funded and it's called or acting in time. We call the funders, the total at the shell funders who are funding ECOP to stop the funding because the future belongs to us. We want to achieve the 1.5 degrees Celsius, but the less emission is not there because our leaders are prioritizing profit at the expense of our lives. Let us know that there's a future that will need a world that is worth living in, a healthy life, and a healthy life means uh, less fossil fuels.